802.03 marking your lie. Let's check it out right here. We got a nice tee shot right here in the fairway. Uh, I see a lot of casual players just simply walk up and you know flip their disc during casual rounds. This is perfectly fine if you're just out playing with your buddies and whatnot. But if you're playing a PDGA sanctioned event, you have to either mark your lie or throw from the disc. My personal preference if I'm throwing a, um, an approach shot is to just go ahead and leave my disc there unless I'm using that particular disc. The reason why, mentally it's a bigger target for me to have to hit as opposed to a little mini. But if you do prefer to mark it with a mini, that's perfectly fine. Here's how you do it. You simply walk up to the disc directly in line with the basket and mark it. You want to put it directly in front of the disc, touching the tip of the disc. After you do that, you pick up, throwing from the mini, you must be directly behind it. You cannot touch it. You cannot be to the right, you cannot be to the left of it. Whether it's a standstill shot or a run up, you must stay behind the mini. If your lie is in the fairway, that's the only time you have the option to use the disc or a mini. If you're stuck up in a tree or if you throw OB, that's when you must establish a new lie and you must use a mini during PDGA sanctioned events. If you're up in a tree like this shot right here, the way to mark it is directly below it on the plane surface. And if you're OB, the way to mark it is you take your meter from the last place you were in bounds. That is rule 802.03. Go to pdga.com to learn more about this rule and more.